So, what book shall I be reviewing today? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Ivy Book One, uh, The Lost Twin. Comment if you've read this book series and tell me what you think. Hit that bell because apparently it does something. And yes, I know I seem a little bit uh, fond of books with twins in it. This twin um, in the 1930s, they're about 13 years old. But these twins are like mirror images. And one doctor in the beginning of the book sa states that they probably have mirrored hearts as well. So it's like you're looking at a mirror image of the twin. Ivy is staying with her aunt, and she is taking ballet. So she is pretty much a really shy, reserved twin. So her twin sister has gone to this boarding school, Rookwood. Her sister is like the boisterous, strong-willed, you know, type. The one full of life and she is dead. A really scary looking teacher named Miss Fox, who's very stern and, you know, very posh, invites her to take her sister's place. So she goes with the scary looking teacher to Rookwood, and the teacher then informs her that she will become Scarlet. The whole point of the mystery is why? Why did they want her to take her sister's place? And so she goes to her sister's dormitory. She discovers her diary and it's missing pages but there's clues. I, I really liked all of the scenes in this in this book, especially the scenes where um, like Ivy is interacting with all the you know mean characters. Like some of the girls at this school aren't very nice and that's because Scarlet wasn't very nice. So um, a lot of the interactions were just so funny. One thing I found myself is like, you know that moment when you're reading a book where you you kind of are so invested in a character that when they do something really stupid or something happens, you're just like... You really connect with Ivy as a character. She's trying to act like her sister, and her sister is the troublemaking type. So she has to like, develop confidence and be someone she's not. But what it helps is to help her find her assertiveness, because while she doesn't have to be Ivy, she can be Scarlet. So there's certain instances in the book where things that she wouldn't normally do because, you know, you might get in big trouble, she does because it's what Scarlet would do. You know, because she can be that person that she's never had the chance to be. Because, you know, it's her, it's her sister's reputation she's ruining. <laughs> you could see that she's going from this uh, shy person to this more assertive, stronger character. She learns to not be afraid so much. So I really loved the character development. Very quickly, I became invested in the story and I really, really wanted to know, like, the mystery behind it all. As she's learning about what happened to her sister through all these clues that she left throughout the school, the, the plot and the history, the research behind it just feels so real and compelling. And all of the other support characters in the story just really work together really well to like make this a beautiful read. And I just loved it. The ending was, it was such a cool climax that it just felt so deserved. I was just really satisfied. And there were some things in the story that were like plot twists near like at the ending which were so uh, like really amazing i don't want to spoil it's so good i had never read a series like this before like it's a different sort of experience how it seems a lot different from all the other books i've read is this is yes this is a mystery but i haven't read a lot of books which are related to school i've mostly just read classics and i think how this would be different is like it brings the whole twin aspect to like a relatable level. If you had like friends who were twins, I'd recommend you get this them this series for like a present because it's something I think they'd enjoy. It was compelling. I just couldn't put it down and my parents called me for dinner. I was like, no, no, I want to keep reading. Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe for more book reviews. I promise I'll get better at this. I saw this book in the bookstore and I was like, Marlena, please get me this book. I can pay you back later. And I still haven't. My dad has been reading to me since I was a tiny little embryo in my mother's belly. He'd read books to us and we'd roll over so we could hear him when we were little. They used to have tiny little baskets at the end of our cots. We'd crawl up over and pull out some little picture books and just dip them. There's a little backstory.